Hey guys, how you doing? It's HexDSL. Hello there. I'm being a little bit quite unusual because it is 20 past midnight when I'm recording this. Uh, but I'm really enjoying playing the game and I thought I'd share it with you guys because it's Wine Wednesday after all at time of, of, of you watching this, not at time recording. It's a Tuesday, but that's beside the point. Um, Minion Masters, Forced to Duel. Minion Masters is currently a free, now I should say, a free-to-play game. It wasn't a free-to-play game, but it's now a free-to-play game. There's also a premium version. I am playing the premium version at the moment. The premium version is um, $14.99. So I don't know why there's an in-store game 100% uh, off this week. Okay, so it's free-to-play at the moment, but it's usually $3.99. Okay, that's a bit weird. Weird way of doing it. Um, and uh, you can buy a Minion Masters Premium Edition for $14.99, which just gets you extras on all the fronts. Um, I'm sure it tells you here. Free game for a limited time. You can play Minion Masters for free. Okay, cool. About this game, pricing, blah, blah, blah. Okay, major roadmap. I don't know what any of this means. Um, I just thought there'd be a thing that says premium. That's what I'm looking for, and I'm not seeing it. So let's move on. Um, from what I understand, the premium, you get a bunch of gold, a bunch of in-game currency, um, like gold, rubies, I think it is, and uh, you get extra XP uh, to get you up, to get you leveled up faster. Um, I wouldn't say it's pay to win because you're only ever going to be leveled with other people at the same level because of the matchmaking, so I don't think it really matters. But what is this? Uh, this is basically, you know those mobile games where there's like mini MOBA experience where there's like three lanes and you have to like send you dudes up lanes. Uh, Clash Royale is one of the most popular ones. And there's that Plants vs. Zombie game that seems popular. Well, this is a desktop PC version of that, which sounds terrible, but it's actually really good, which is why I'm recording a video at 20 past 12 at night. Um, to run this in Wine, uh, again, I oh, that's interesting. I checked the Wine HQ first, and it's it's not there. I just searched for Minion Masters, Minion Master, Minion, every single variation I could think of. And it seems like there's no entry on here for it. But, again... Just run it, and it's fine. Um, here, on these little logos here, I believe there's supposed to be numbers telling you how many points of mana it takes to summon these creatures, but that doesn't seem to be rendering right, nor does the thing telling you how many of each item you've got down here. So it's not perfect, but uh, to be honest, well, you'll see what I'm gonna play now. You'll see You'll see when I play now. Like you'll, let's just do, a, I don't know, the, the, the second one. Um, challenge and reward, I, yeah, should we play that, yeah. Uh, You'll see why it doesn't matter in a minute because. Okay. Wow. Loud, right? Uh, let's turn that down a little bit for you guys. Wow. Maybe I should turn that for me as well, actually. Um, uh, no, there you go. Let's get the sound levels right. Uh, now, what you'll notice is there's two different. Um, there's two different sides to this. There's two. There's two completely different looking pieces of maps. That's because. The arena on the left is one I chose. The arena on the right is one they chose. They're joined by bridges in the sky. Uh, and then you fight. And and I'm not sure if there's any lore attached to this or there's any plot past that. But it's oddly it's oddly fascinating. See, this goes, this bar goes up here. And then, obviously, it's, it's visually very easy to see which ones you can and can't use. So you don't need to worry too much about the summoning cost. It's just... It's just really obvious. So you don't need those numbers. Would be nice to have them if that is even what they are for. I haven't played it in Windows. I wouldn't know. But uh, it, it's definitely something that's already visually... They've covered it in enough ways that it, it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, there we go. And basically, I throw out my minion dudes um, against their minion dudes. And then and then whoever's tower gets destroyed like, like first loses. So if you destroy the tower, they lose. Um so this unit looks like it's animated slow. It's not. It's just a slow moving unit. Because uh, when I first loaded it, I was like, is that lagging? Because it was actually the first unit I saw. And it, no, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. It's just the animation that particular one is slow. And it does look weird and janky. But it's because it's like a moving statue or something. And that's the description of it anyway. And yeah, uh, you just, uh, the card, the stack of cards in your deck come out. And every time you use one, it gets shuffled back into the deck. So you're constantly just cycling through the same cards um, as fast as you would like, really. Um, and then you just have to destroy in this, which is fine. There's, there's no reason not to. Obviously, there's online multiplayer. There's a single player thing, which is more of a training scenario as far as I've found. Um, I've got up to level, I think I'm level 7. I want to say level 7. It doesn't say. Um, but it's interesting. Is Consider it's one of those, it's sort of free to play, but not quite. It's sort of, I have feel it'll be going free regularly. But uh, what the hell's he doing there? I have feel it'll be going free regularly. 
Um, but three ninety nine is a really small price. But it doesn't actually unlock the shop until you get to level seven. So it won't even let you buy stuff to level seven, which is really interesting. And as you can see here, I'm winning because his tower's got less health than mine. But uh, we are, and when it levels up, my dude over here gets another perk. So right now his perk is inspires all friendly minions um, on the bridges. So plus twenty five damage. And a lot, believe it or not, a lot more than you think actually happens on these two bridges. These two bridges actually, like, this is the choke point where people tend to meet. Um, and obviously when I drop a unit, I can pick the left or the right and it'll go that direction. He'll start walking that direction. When I go over the bridge, this changes to my colour or to their colour, depending. And while it's my colour, there's an XP boost in place. While it's their colour, there's an XP for them. So you can essentially block them from getting any form of increased XP over time. Uh, just by constantly taking these bridges, which is the strategy I've gone with consistently. I just throw stuff out there as soon as I can to keep these bridges owned. And it's, again, it's only when a minion passes that it changes the ownership of the bridges. But yeah, I'm like, mm, yeah, I'm not actually that far ahead of that dude on, on mana and um, on mana on XP. Yeah, but I did win because I killed him. Now, you'll see there's a little bit of slowdown now when you return to the menu, but you just sort of play a whole game with any problems. Um, yeah, level 7, I thought I was. Uh, yay, level 7. And uh, obviously the next one I'm playing now is the hard missions that goes on to Expert. And I can play online. It also links to Twitch. And I've had no problem there. I just click the button, it loads up web browser, link me to Twitch. Done. That was <laughs> just done instantly. Um, it is still an early access. And if you click up here, there's feedback, server status, stuff. Which is quite nice to see. And I always like it when they make clear it's early access in the menu. It's like they're not trying to fool anyone. Um, not sure how I feel about a game that's paid having an item shop um because look there's this item shop here you can buy these uh rubies for actual cash values um i don't know how i feel about that just to be honest but uh, I, I don't think i care to be because like the the premium one gives you enough to start with it doesn't matter and it seems like the mass majority of this stuff is cosmetic anyway because um the champions make a minor difference in the perks they've got which um mass minion master minion try to what they're calling them hero i don't want to say hero master yeah, just which master's using. Um, they have different skills here. Um, and then uh, and the actual arenas don't seem to affect gameplay at all other than the way they look. And there's quite a few to choose from. They seem reasonably enough. Um, they load. They don't quite load as quick as I'd like. Uh, I think that's a wine thing, to be honest. But all in all, I think I'll be playing loads of this game. I'm really enjoying it. Enough to record a video at this time of night. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm going to have a little tweak, see if I can figure out if I can get wine to... Uh, Render these correctly, maybe some tweakery and some googling around. I'll find out how I get these to all render correctly. But yeah, it's more than playable. And it's no problems at all. And again, considering all I did was install it, can't say it's a real problem. There's the Twitch boost there, which I've clicked that and I've connected my account. Uh, stream via Twitch and play to gain bonuses, win rewards for your viewers, and more to come. There's nothing, nothing weird or it does, and I'm just connected, which is nice. But uh, at least it's something. Uh, so you can quit and. Quit the desktop and assume it doesn't crash. Yay. There you go. It's been great. Uh, I really like Minion Masters. It's pretty cool. You should definitely check it out. I'll say it seems like it's going to be going free regularly, um, or it's at least free for now, probably by the time you've seen this video. Um, and that 49 off the premium, it's probably a little bit steep, to be honest. I think you should probably just drop at the bottom level and maybe buy a premium upgrade. Oh, wow, the upgrade is 14.99. Wow. If you buy it for 3.99, you're still paying 14.99 later to upgrade. So. I don't know, have a little think about it, but it does, like I say, you've just seen me playing it absolutely fine, no issues whatsoever uh, on Linux, which is really nice. This has been HexDSL with your Wine Wednesday. I'll stop talking now. Thank you very much for watching. You can like and subscribe if you feel so inclined, and there's lots of information below this video in the description. Bye-bye.